The Curious Starling, A Tale of Friendship and Acceptance In a vibrant forest filled with towering trees and colorful flowers lived a curious little starling named Skylar. Unlike other starlings who enjoyed the company of their fellow birds, Skylar was always intrigued by creatures of all kinds. He would flutter around, observing the rabbits as they hopped and the turtles as they plodded along. But what truly fascinated him were the creatures who were different from him, the animals that weren't birds. One sunny morning, while Skylar was perched on a branch, he noticed a peculiar creature making its way through the forest. It was small and furry, with tiny eyes that blinked rapidly. Skylar was immediately drawn to it and swooped down to take a closer look. Hello there. I'm Skylar the Starling. What are you? He chirped cheerfully. The creature seemed a bit startled, but replied, I'm a field mouse. My name is Milo. Skylar's eyes sparkled with excitement. A field mouse? How wonderful! I've never met one before. Would you like to be friends, Milo? Milo hesitated for a moment, as he wasn't used to befriending birds. But there was something warm and welcoming about Skylar that put him at ease. Sure, I'd like that, Milo said with a smile. From that day on, Skylar and Milo became inseparable friends. They would spend their days exploring the forest together, playing hide-and-seek among the ferns, and sharing stories about their respective homes. Skylar told Milo all about the nests birds built high up in the trees, and Milo explained how field mice made cozy burrows in the ground. Their friendship was a joy to behold, but not everyone in the forest felt the same way. Some of the other starlings couldn't understand why Skylar would want to be friends with a mouse, of all creatures. Birds and mice don't belong together, they squawked, trying to discourage Skylar. But Skylar remained steadfast in his friendship with Milo. He believed that being different was what made their friendship special. As the days passed, Skylar's fellow starlings noticed the happiness that radiated from their friend whenever he was with Milo and slowly their disapproval turned into curiosity. One day, as Skylar and Milo were playing near the riverbank, a group of young starlings approached them. They were led by Ruby, a bold and outspoken starling who had initially been the most critical of Skylar's friendship. Skylar, Ruby said, her voice softer than before. We've been watching you and Milo. You seem so happy together. Skylar nodded, beaming with joy. Yes, Milo is a wonderful friend. He's kind, clever, and he makes me laugh. Ruby shuffled her feathers nervously. We were wrong about you and Milo. We shouldn't have judged before giving him a chance. Would you mind if we joined you both today? Skylar's heart soared with happiness and forgiveness. Of course not. The more the merrier, he replied warmly. From that day on, Skylar's friendship with Milo had a positive impact on the entire forest. The starlings once divided learned to appreciate the beauty of diversity. They started to befriend other creatures, from squirrels to butterflies, and the forest became a harmonious and joyful place. The moral of the story is that true friendship knows no boundaries. Sometimes the most incredible bonds are formed between beings who are entirely different from one another. By embracing diversity and accepting others for who they are, we can create a world filled with love, happiness, and understanding. And so the curious starling Skylar and his mouse friend Milo lived happily ever after, surrounded by friends of all shapes and sizes in their enchanted forest home. And whenever anyone saw a starling and a mouse playing together, they couldn't help but smile and remember the valuable lesson they had learned from Skylar, the lesson of friendship and acceptance.